Biota from developer Small Bros and publisher Retrovibe is a game that took us by surprise. Going into its palette swapping 2D platforming, we expected something fairly conventional. Instead, what we got was a fast paced, action filled adventure with both enjoyment and some frustration. Biota is a 2D Metroidvania action platformer set in a mining colony on a distant planet in the far, far future. Mega corporations of the future have discovered a resource known as Viridium that allows human society to thrive. Soon enough, interplanetary space travel is established and a prominent corporation seizes control of most of the Viridium mines. Things, however, go awry when a Viridium mine unearths something unusual and the entire mining colony goes dark. This is where you, the player, comes in. You're part of a mercenary squad and have been sent to the planet to investigate just what the heck is happening and why all the communications have been cut off. Players can take the role of one of a handful of mercenaries from Gemini Squad. Each member of Gemini Squad has a basic biography, which explains where they're from, as well as their combat speciality. Now players are most likely to pick one mercenary and stick with them throughout the entirety of the game, except for a particular segment where you have to play as a specific character. Now the controls in Biota are rock solid for platforming, and thankfully this helps the game succeed where so many other games in the genre fail. You can jump, shoot, and platform with ease, using either a keyboard or controller. As you dive into the depths of the mines, you'll soon encounter an alien plague known simply as the Agent. This goo-like substance is what caused the mining colony to go dark, and, naturally, it's up to you and your squad of mercenaries to get to the bottom of the soil and defeat the plague. The story is told through text conversations with other characters, and overall, it's cheesy, camp, and definitely reminiscent of an 80s or 90s action movie. Biota also makes use of a gimmick that lets you swap the game's color palette. There are plenty to choose from, but players are most likely to settle for one that's comfortable on the eyes. Unfortunately, palette swapping does very little else for the game. I feel this was a missed opportunity to expand upon the mechanic. Maybe some variation in enemy attack patterns, or your own attacks could have been worked into these palette swaps, but disappointingly, that isn't the case here. Another potential issue is that these palette swaps can lead to eye strain, and could adversely affect you if you have any sort of color blindness or sensitivity. Now the developers have included a photosensitivity warning at the start of the game, but please keep this in mind if you've had your eye on Biota. Complementing the visuals is a fantastic, adrenaline pumping, electronic synth soundtrack that's a perfect match for the genre. The introductory segment is voiced, but that's about it, and the rest is conveyed through the aforementioned text conversations, so you'll be forgiven for just skipping through it to get back to the actual gameplay. When it comes to the general game audio, it's equally impressive, and explosions and special weapons sound particularly amazing. Now the gameplay in Biota is both its best and worst element. Platforming is immensely fun in the early segments of the game, but after a while things can start to get tedious. There's less of a Metroid feel to this game, so you don't really explore the entirety of the map in interlinked segments. Rather, it's all sectioned off there isn't much real exploration necessary, since there aren't any hidden power-ups or pathways in any of the game's rooms. The sensation is compounded by areas in the game where even the smallest mistake can lead to you dying during a platforming section, which isn't much fun. Thankfully, you can save wherever you want as long as enemies aren't around, and there are some interspersed save points throughout each level, but I feel a more consistent autosave would have been preferred to help alleviate the frustration. You'll die quite often, and, should you save when your health is low, you'll load straight back in with the same low health pool. On the upside, you can always make use of a teleporter to get you back up to the surface if you end up getting too damaged and unable to progress. This does, however, mean you need to slog through the same areas again, and when enemies respawn in every room, the fatigue starts to set in. Thankfully, as you progress, you will find ways to upgrade your limited health pool, as well as your special weapon ammo count. Though, honestly, your special weapon isn't really necessary to defeat all the enemies in Biota, so I'd focus on upgrading your health. Now, at least these areas you're fighting through feel diverse. Each area in Biota's mining colony has its own set of enemies and a unique aesthetic, which is again standard fare for the 2D Metroidvania platforming game. The game, therefore, does a pretty good job of retaining the essence of 2D platformers from the Game Boy era. If you've played a recent title like Kunai or Gato Roboto previously, you'll find Biota to be quite similar. There is some backtracking, and you can get lost in the game, but with a bit of trial and error, you'll eventually make your way forward. Oh, and there are also vehicle sections, think mechs and more, that you can pilot too, making for an enjoyable diversion from the usual run and gun combat. Interestingly, there's also an arcade mode available to round out the package, but players can breeze through this in around 8 minutes or so while trying to rack up high scores. The mode was great, and we honestly wish the developers could have expanded upon it further. 
It's good fun trying to defeat enemies and complete tasks with specific win conditions. And I got a real sense of satisfaction completing challenges in the arcade mode. Overall, Biota is a good 2D action platformer. There's a lot of tried and trusted gameplay mechanics here, and the game's gorgeous visuals, combined with the palette swapping feature, provides a visual feast for the eyes. It's just a shame we feel there could have been more done with the potential here. Maybe future updates will refine it and improve upon it, but as it stands right now, Biota is a straightforward, enjoyable, yet sometimes frustrating 2D action platformer, with some good ideas, but also some underwhelming implementation.